Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed that video of San Miguel de Allende. It's a small city located inside of Guanajuato, Mexico. And today we're going to be breaking down my experience of flying a drone here. One of the first things that you should check out though when flying a drone anywhere is the DJI GeoZone. I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out. You can literally type in anywhere in the world, plan out where you're going to fly your drone and see if there are any restrictions. And you know, if you do see restrictions moving forward for the future, then you don't have to bring your drone and you don't really need to worry about it. There was like one restriction that says don't fly over a prison, but other than that, there's no airports or any other types of obstacles that you you know, my encounter when flying here. It's actually really, really safe. So the gear that I packed for this trip is the Mavic Pro 2 with two batteries. That's all I use. You literally 60 minutes of great footage if you've had enough practice. And that's what I recommend for honestly any trip. I don't see myself getting three batteries. My camera settings for the Mavic Pro 2 are actually just autofocus where I get the whole landscape sharp and I have no picture profile so when it's time to color grade what you see is what you get the camera is so good in this drone that I barely have to color grade it at all we went in February and honestly the weather's perfect it's cool it's a little bit chilly in the morning and you can go grab a cup of coffee and enjoy breakfast with your friends family then during the day maybe head back to the Airbnb switch out into some shorts and walk around the whole city. It's known for its cobblestone roads, and basically you can walk anywhere around this city. You can walk from one point to another. So depending on the time of day, the winds were like 20 miles per hour. So the harsh winds might tilt the camera a little bit, and then you'll have to fix it in post, but you're also risking your drone falling out of the sky. Did I do it? Yes. Should I have? No but I'm a lot more experienced and I've flown in tougher conditions. Now, what made it so easy for me to fly was that the Airbnb that our friends had, had a rooftop. Now, this is ideal for any drone cinematographer, videographer, whatever you wanna call yourself. This is ideal because at any time of the day, when we have free time, I can charge my drone batteries and when I'm ready, I can literally just launch it up and fly. Ideal. I had no problems grabbing footage during the day of us walking around, grabbing food. And then when we came back, hey, I, I want a couple more shots. You know what? Let me get a sunset. Let me get the morning sunrise. You know, let me get the city during the day in all its glory. So it was actually perfect. If you can, when you travel to places, if you can get a rooftop, go for it. Even if it's a little bit more money, go for it. It'll be worth it in the end because you'll have footage like this. You know, it's a, it's a lot easier. It's ideal. I'll be leaving a link to the GeoZone map down below. Please check that out and, you know, always prepare for your trips. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.